Welcome to today's Going Deeper. I'm Nick Van Ruth, one of the pastors here at Hills Baptist, and I want to share a story with you that I think challenges our attitude towards our salvation. This story is from Luke's Gospel, and the setting is uh, Jesus is at a Pharisee's house, Simon the Pharisee, and a, a woman comes and breaks an expensive alabaster jar on his feet and anoints him, and uh, the Pharisee, Simon, is appalled at this waste of material. So Jesus tells him a story. He says, uh, two people owed money to a certain moneylender. One owed him 500 denarii, the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he forgave the debts of both. Now which of them will love him more? And Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. You have judged correctly, Jesus said. Now I raise this story uh, because I think it's, it's helpful to remember how much Jesus has saved us. When we think about salvation, often we think of the analogies of being out in the middle of the ocean, trying to wade and keep our head above water and struggling. And then suddenly here comes Jesus, uh, the lifesaver coming and we can hang on to him. He'll help us out of our struggles. And do you know what? That's not good enough. That analogy is not good enough because Ephesians 2 says that we weren't just in trouble, we were dead. We're not wading at the top of the ocean trying to keep our head above water. We're dead and drowned at the bottom of the ocean. We don't need Jesus to help us out of our tough situation. We need Jesus to raise us from the dead, to restore us to new life. And that's what he does. That's what he does for us. He saves us from death and from sin and from evil. And so we can't underestimate how much Jesus has saved us and how much he loves us. And so that's our prayer for you and for everyone who watches this video, that we would all get a glimpse of how much Jesus loves us and how much he has saved us and the extent he has gone to draw us back into relationship with him. It's so much more than we could ever imagine. So this week, I pray that you would understand just how much Jesus has saved you. Not a little bit, not a lot, so much more than we can imagine. And by understanding that, getting a glimpse of that, that would transform you and just make you fall even deeper in love with our gracious Savior. So know we are praying for you and we love you and uh, we look forward to catching you soon.